Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of using the mean value theorem or Rolle's theorem to prove a result about the roots of polynomials. Here's our result. Proposition, if n is bigger than or equal to 2 and p of x is a polynomial of degree n with n real roots, then p prime of x has n minus 1 real roots. Okay? So here's how we do it. We're going to use the mean value theorem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I know the polynomial over here has n real roots. So here's the proof. So let's pictorially represent it like this. Here's the real line, the x-axis. And let's say we have these roots over here, r1, r2 is a root, r3 is a root, r4 is a root, da, 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 da. rn minus 1 is a root, and then rn is a root. So those are the roots of my polynomial. So here, p of ri is equal to 0 for all i. Okay? There are my n real roots. Now I'm going to make the following observation. For any two i and i plus 1, note, what we can do is this. p of r i plus 1 minus p of r i, well, that's 0 and that's 0 because they're roots, but this has to be equal to p prime of a number, I'm going to call it xci, times what? r i plus 1 minus r i. And over here, I've just used the mean value theorem by the mean value theorem. Okay. Okay. So what we've just established over here is that since this is 0 and this is 0, and this is not 0, r i plus 1 minus r i is not 0, we've just shown that p prime of x c i is equal to zero, where where do these xci reside? Where xci resides in between where and where? ri and then ri plus one. So in other words, let's figure out where those xci are. So xc one's over here, xc two is over here, xc three is over here, and way down over here we have what? We have xc n minus one. So we have n minus one points, so hence the n minus one points xc1, xcn are real roots of p prime of x. Now a polynomial of degree n minus 1, like p prime is, can have, exa can have exa has exactly n minus 1 roots up to multiplicity, and we found all of them and all of them are real. Therefore the roots of p prime are all real and there are exactly n minus 1 of them. Thank you very much.